I spent $10,000 with a personal stylist and this was my experience. Welcome to episode three of my personal growth journey. This series is touching on compiled personal choices that I've made to grow myself and I just wanted to share all of my experiences with you. The main question I think most people would have when it comes to hiring a personal stylist is if it's worth it. The short answer for me would be yes, because I see time value of money and also monetary value of time. Having a personal stylist has helped me work more efficiently, faster, create an automation with my wardrobe. I have access to events that she hosts like photo shoots and banquets with networking and there is that quality there that I learn when it comes directly to my clothing and my attire. Now I came to Canada in year 2000 with my mom. It was just us, the clothes on our backs, one carry-on suitcase, a little kindergarten backpack, and $100 bill. We were fleeing domestic abuse and looking to find new safe life overseas. I grew up eating food from food banks and having all my clothes given to me through acquaintances and family friends. They were all hand-me-downs. All the way up to high school and then in high school I started to purchase clothing from secondhand clothes shops. Growing up was hard on me but I never really realized it as a kid. I think only in middle school and high school I really noticed the difference that my life experience held as a child growing up in poverty in a single parent household. I actually don't regret anything that my mother and I went through and I have already grieved through plenty of it but these experiences have shaped me and now I find me in the me that I am today. Fast forward to the present where I am 26. I've grown personally and professionally to a point where I have had to invest in this area of my life to better reflect and project my work, my standards, my expectations, and my vision and goal of where and who I want to be. So here's how it started. I was desperate for help because ever since I was young, I never had a fashion sense. I never had an eye for fashion, an understanding of fashion. So I actually Googled personal stylists in Toronto and Julianne Costigan and her team was the first website and the first stylist that popped up on my search. I looked through her website and everything is so beautiful and comprehensive. There's a lot of information there and I love that she does this and she does her work, she provides her services because she empowers women in business. She is a cheerleader for all of her clients and I really felt that through this experience. We had a phone consultation and we just connected over the phone, heard what my needs would have been and how she likes to work with her clients. We scheduled a wardrobe clear out day where she came into my wardrobe, looked through my pieces, saw some outdated pieces, saw some damaged fabrics, and we just sorted out the things that I wouldn't wear anymore and that we didn't think would be great to incorporate into my new style. I did have a personal budget of about $4,000 that Michael and I had decided on to spend on new clothing pieces to be able to fill in any gaps or holes in my wardrobe and we could spend that money while shopping with Julianne. While we were going through my wardrobe, we went through a lot of my clothing concerns as well because I just had a lot of questions like, how do you store clothes? How do you organize them? How do you wash them and care for them? I learned so much I feel like now I really am able to change outfits without worrying about where I'm gonna put my stuff or what I'm gonna wear next. I was previously organizing all my clothes based on color and I guess like the amount of comfort (laughs) that the pieces have, but now I have everything segregated to type of piece, for example, pants in a different drawer as sweaters, and then I have my blouses hung and dresses in a separate section, so then I'm able to find exactly what I need. I also learned that clothing pieces are really only able to survive about 20 washes and we are not supposed to wash our clothes every single time we wear them because it damages our clothing. We should only really wash them if they smell or if we've sweat in them or if they are dirty. And so now I just steam my clothes when I first get them and then I put them away. I wear them when I need to wear them. I'll fold them up afterwards if they are not dirty. And it's just really streamlined my whole wardrobe process. I don't have this huge hanger draped with clothing that I wore once or twice. 
and this minimizes the mess, the chaos, and it also minimizes fabric damage. The steamer helps with wrinkles, and I also have a wrinkle spray, which is really awesome to use in between outfits just to smooth everything out. Now, in order to maintain respect for Julianne's work, I won't be breaking down the price completely with, you know, where all of the budget is going, but I will let you know that I did spend a total of around $10,000 with her and $4,000 of that was my personal budget for shopping. During our shopping day, she actually arrived with her team an hour earlier than me and she had all of the dressing rooms set up with four different stores that we visited. We had been communicating online with some images of styles that we liked, styles that she recommended, styles that I reacted to, and then we compiled kind of a collage of about 30 to 40 photographs of different outfits. She sweeped each store to look for my color palette and had everything set up in the fitting room so that when I arrive, I can just literally walk into the fitting rooms, try everything on in each store. And then I try something on, I show her, we talk about it. Do we like it? Do we not like it? Is there something that we can do to style it, to make it sit a little better? If we cinch in the waist, if we fold up the sleeves, if we slack it off the shoulders a bit, like anything, she would give these little styling tips that really help me understand the way we can influence fabric to sit on our bodies and really help accentuate the beauty in our bodies that gives us that confidence to be able to do the work that we need to do as the strong woman that we are. It was great that we had a mix of some lower end pieces that are more affordable but still great quality from Zara. We also shopped at Banana Republic because that was one of the stores that I really, really love their style and fabrics. And then there was digitization. So her team actually digitized every single piece that we purchased in the shopping trip into a app where they have access to my wardrobe. I have access to my wardrobe. They can create, and they did create several outfits for me with those pieces to get me started. And that was amazing. I was like, you know what? I need this done for the rest of the pieces in my wardrobe. And so I actually decided to opt in for full closet digitization, which was a separate service laid it out on a backdrop with ring lights. They took the photos of my pieces, they edited them into the app and digitized my whole closet, categorizing everything as jackets, as dresses, as pants and accessories. They even put my jewelry in. I was like, oh my goodness. I love my digital closet. I use it every single week and it really automates the process of choosing my outfits. It saves me time, it saves me stress, and it still makes me present myself and look great. I also had my headshots taken with Julianne's team and her amazing connection of photographer, hair, makeup artist, nail, beauty. She's been in the industry. She knows so many amazing, talented women and women-owned businesses that are involved with her event. She's so creative. And when she has ideas, she puts it together. She actualizes it. And this photo shoot basically takes the weight off of you having to do your makeup, getting stressed in the morning, getting ready. They have full styling. They have a photographer who has amazing work and is able to capture a person's character, their air, their energy in headshots. And that's something that I definitely saw as an investment because a great photo of you is sometimes the very first or very last thing a potential client may ever see of you. Everyone was also super nice and I actually had an alumni dinner with all of the ladies who went through the Porches with Impact event. Julianne treated us to an amazing steak dinner with a beautiful Valentino gift bag in an amazing glass, almost like a dollhouse. It was so beautiful. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the photos. And even that in itself was such an amazing way to network with other women in business, other women who are putting their better foot forward and really trying 
trying to do their best to find like-minded people, invest in themselves, and grow their ability in order to do amazing work. We all have so much potential and even though there's only 24 hours in a day, we have 24 hours in a day. Why shouldn't we reach for the best we can be? Always remember that the people who talk bad behind your back are people who are behind you. And anyone who tries to drag you down is trying to drag you down because they are below you. It is so important to surround yourself with healthy relationships, people who spur you on and allow you to be the best you. During dinner, I was honored to have the opportunity to sit across of Julianne's aunt Beverly and she spoke words of wisdom. I believe it was an Irish proverb that says that everyone has a light when they're born. When they go into the world, they take this light. You have to surround yourself with people who protect your light and don't let it blow out. But there will always be people who want to blow out your light and you need to avoid them. You need to be really careful. And I jokingly said, actually, we should find other people that we can light our lights with to create bigger lights and just throw a whole bunch of gasoline on it. <laughs> That's what women supporting women should look like, a gasoline bonfire. I am so thankful not just to have this opportunity, but also to have been able to find resources for myself and know what I was lacking and know what I wanted in order to grow myself. Now, if you don't have the funds to you know, hire a personal stylist, I've learned so much from Julianne and I know that she mostly works out of Toronto, but she also has online consultations and she does amazing job. Even the tips that she gives on TV is really, really, helpful and I think everyone can take her tips and apply it to their daily wardrobe. In order to celebrate ourselves and also continue becoming someone we want to continue celebrating. Check out this video that YouTube recommends you to watch next and I will see you in the next one. Bye!